logical here, sorry about my voice, it's a bit raspy due to circumstances. However, I want to make the episode, so let's go with it anyway. Today is going to be about a rather small engine again, but this time it's on the win more spectrum. Due to various circumstances, I was unable to upload this as originally planned. Damn, I hate Christmas and my life. But it's here now, so let's enjoy this. Also, my friend, I guess? Acquaintance. Yes, acquaintance. Tree Marvel Frog is kind of copying my idea for a series. His stuff is much higher production quality and has better jokes. And he already covered this engine. Damn you, Treeborn! You should really check his stuff. Do it now! Like, seriously, stop this video, watch Treeborns. Spam his comment section saying I've sent you. Afterwards, decide which video was better. Codebreaker is an archetype of dark warrior monsters used by Kusanagi in the Vrains anime. Only three cards he used in his Duel vs. Playmaker were actually printed and those make the Codebreaker engine. The engine was introduced in its entirety as part of the Eternity Code booster set in April 2020 for everyone except the US because they had to wait until June. <laughs> All the parts of the engines are commons so getting them is extremely easy. When it comes to the tournament representation, I was unable to find any data regarding that, which doesn't mean it won't pop up at some point, but it's still something worth looking into. Like I mentioned, the engine was not represented in any tournaments this year, not that there were any, at least in person. I'm not sure that's because it's not well known or due to some other reason. However, that doesn't stop the engine from being able to do stupid shite. So now let's go through with card by card, followed by the engine's showcase. Codebreaker Zero Day is one of those. The mandatory engine card. Commonly referred as a garnet. As far as the engine is concerned, it can be a vanilla. Virus Swordsman is the card that makes the engine work. Very generic link materials and an effect that summons a monster from the deck allowing for either further link climbing or any other plays. The fact that it can revive itself once it's right is also very welcome but not commonly used. And last but not least, Codebreaker Virus Berserker is the quote unquote boss of the engine. The final card summoned. Its ability to revive Codebreaker monsters is important and helps link climbing a lot. However, people tend to forget about its other ability, which, in proper circumstances, makes Virus Berserker a walking twin twister in some optimal ones of walking MST. But having an ability to clear at least some of the opponent's back row is always welcome. Now I'm going to showcase the engine at its best. As the clip showed, the main idea of the engine is to provide greater ability for lane climbing. Its biggest downside, as it was probably noticed, is the co-linking condition. That's why this engine needs a little bit of setup in order to work to its highest potential. This might be one of the reasons it didn't appear in any tournament, since every play that requires any amount of setup is not good enough and is considered too slow. Anyway, that's all beside the point. Let's talk about how the engine is actually built. And that's a very simple and straightforward one. One copy of each of the code breakers is more than enough for the engine to function. That is all. One of the greatest pros of this engine is its small size, with one card in the main deck and two cards in the extra deck, giving plenty of room for other engines, hand traps, and outs. Every engine that provides link climbing is very welcome in 2021, especially when the end goals are very powerful link monsters. Berserker's ability to clean back row, although rarely use it, is also an additional point for the engine. There are many monsters they can destroy opponent's back row, but not as many are as easily accessible as Virus Berserker. In spite of all the good points, the engine is heavily pulled down by the effect condition for both Virus Berserker and Virus Swordsman, since those monsters have to be cold linked to even activate their spamming effects. The player has to play a link monster with at least a down arrow in either a down left or a down right one. There are six link two monsters that fulfill the former condition and 
three that fulfill the latter. Not to mention the 19 link free monsters that have all three, so down, down left and down lower right, 23 link threes that have the down and down left, and 20 that have down and down right. Those need to be on the field for the engine to work, making the player incorporate specific link monsters for the engine to work. That was and still is the biggest issue of it. The other one is somewhat related and it's the fact that it's used some of the extra deck space. The extra deck is limited to 15 cards and taking at least 13% of that just to access other 13%, basically taking 26% of the extra deck just for this engine might not be one of the brightest ideas. Due to very strong and summoning condition, the engine can be used in almost anything, but it still has to be a deck with the proper link monsters to facilitate the condition for both Virus Swordman and Virus Berserker. Most noteworthy, the deck can be used in Goki, since the engine gives them easy access to a very powerful monster. Goki the Power Load Ogre. At the day of writing the script, the codebreakers had only one printing, which is the Eternity Code one as comments. The price for all of those cards, for all three of them, is either 73 euro cents or 90 American cents, making the engine extremely cheap and a very decent option for budget players. That would be it. Remember to watch Treebone's video on the same subject and comment which video was better. Also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and all that good YouTube thingy. And I'll see you tomorrow for the first stream of 2021. Bye bye.